Hello everyone, this is CowCaps, this is Bartholomew, and this is Subwoofer. The name was recommended to us by SuperMJ767, it's hard to say numbers. And today, we're going to the nether. So, I guess we can start by putting some basic enchants on my current armor. Protection, more protection, I guess I'm breaking too. And protection too, nice. Feather falling. I'll need feather falling, so we're just gonna get a gold helmet and then go to the nether. Now the question I have is, should I bring my two favorite pooches off into the nether with me? No. Back to the nether. Very pleasant place to spawn, not gonna lie. Alright, that's some loud piglin noises for me. <laughs> Our first prisoner. I'm sorry, did you just inspect all of my gold and not give me anything in return? What happened to the whole bartering thing that we used to do? Thought we had a relationship. Oh well. Um, well, that ends it for this episode. I wonder, will zombie piglins be mad at me if I break gold? Like, not only they have that type of decency, do they? But, you know, just in case I do run into a situation where we won and everything starts chasing me, I'm gonna create a wall here. And there we go. I guess I'm far enough that none of them got mad. Nice. nice. Now, I just gotta turn the gold bars and start giving them to people. <laughs> Hopefully that last guy was just, like, the glitch or something. Check out this guy. That's the same guy from earlier. Should I trust him? Here. Hey, give me something. Fire charge. Alright. Obsidian. Not really much of anything useful yet, but, um... More obsidian. Better not be obsidian this time. Crying obsidian! Oh, hey there, fellow. Not doing anything. Better be very careful. They don't care. Well, clearly the nether waste is the best place to steal gold from. Right next to this guy, and he's not mad. Great. You know, at one point I was gonna make a video about piglins, but I never really got to it. So I can't say this stuff is really something I know very much about. Alright, here I have all of it. Iron boost with soul speed 3. Nice. What I really want is fire protection. Like, uh, uh, huh. Cool. Leather. Leather. That's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's the next farm I'm gonna make. A gold farm. Whoa. Two under pearls. Yeah, use those wisely. Where are you going all this leather from, kid? You're not even in your like regular habitat. Yes, splash potion of fire resistance. That's basically what I came for. Thank you very much, Mr. Piglin. Now, isn't crying obsidian for like a respawn anchor? Something that you know you can't have in hardcore. If so, then heh. <laughs> hey guys. Oh, it's because I broke this next to them. Oh well, get away with it. Now I hope that my whole crime doesn't spread onto the others if I were to pro- Is that a guess? Yeah, it is. Hey, I'm, I'm your friend by the way, okay? Oh. oh. Ah. Oh no, if hit the piglins, they won't leave me alone. The nether just got a tad bit more dangerous, but it's no biggie. Alright, so in terms of getting what I wanted here, I think I did a pretty good successful thing. But in terms of navigating the nether, I'm not quite ready. Did they both take the portal? Well, I guess I have two new friends that will just freeze here and turn into something. Well, they already are pig zombie piglins. What I'm going to be doing is getting powdered snow and sand. I remember coming across an area full of powdered snow not too long ago. Oh, found it. Man, it goes deep. So I also talk about powdered snow clutching in a video. Like I mentioned earlier, all I gotta do is jump. You're done. And this will work in the nether too. Now as I said earlier, it's time to get some sand. All right, adventure awaits. I'm so excited right now. Goodbye, Bartholomew. Goodbye, subwoofer. Oh, also subwoofer stands for subscribe woofer. <laughs> time for me to full send it and hopefully not die. I think going around this path led to some interesting direction. Back where I started yet again. How poetic. It leads to hell. Glow. Do I ever need this? Oh, whoa. It caught me there. <laughs> there we go. Hey, you. Want gold? Most of that stuff wasn't very useful, but uh, thank you for trying. You know, sometimes the nether ambience noise sounds like someone's stomach gargling. <laughs> as random as that sounds, you know, maybe there's something in that prediction, that theory. But that's just a theory. Currently, I'm just really exploring. That's literally, uh, if I can put this all in one word, exploring and mining gold, that's like on the side of the exploring. Maybe I could have bought the dogs over. This is a cakewalk. <laughs> 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 
Piglins. Piglins. Make my crafting table and then offer my products to the customers. <laughs> While he's giving me this stuff, I might as well tell you whatever piglin facts I can remember. And it's mostly centered around baby piglins. So did you know that if you try bartering with baby piglins, he'll just steal your gold and not give you anything? <laughs> it's just a waste of gold. You have to be like really rich. The type of guy would burn his money. Hey, the last thing was under pearls. Here, now the rest. All yours. And this is where soul speed comes in handy. Look at that. I'm faster on soul sand than on normal land. Whoa. This soul sand valley biome clearly has a bunch of souls in here, all having their weeping and gnashing of teeth sounds. Now I'm doing those anime running scenes where they're just like, I really don't watch that much anime. Oh, the bellies I've already been to, so I just went a big circle yet again. I heard a cat. There's the cat. Get over here, kitty. Ah. Ah. Give me this stuff. Dang it. A whole new world, a whole new fantastic point of view. Oh, hey there. I was not just mining gold. I didn't see you there, by the way. What am I gonna get out of this endless waste? How many blocks have I traveled just to escape? Hey, perfect timing, perfect timing. Finally, a new place. I'm gonna switch my boots here because who knows what'll happen. Now this means I'm at a new place where I have to be a bit Cautious because there's another unrelenting mob. Ah! Alright, well, there's our threats. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce you the Hoglan? That about wraps up my stay. Ow! 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 Now let's see if my whole retracing my steps plan will work well. Is this the way back? It is the way back. Nice. This is the great lava pass. And I didn't die. Now that was a nerve-wracking trip, but me and my dogs are still okay. So I think the expedition was um, successful to say the least. Now that we're out of the nether portal, I'm going back in the nether portal to make another nether portal, if that makes sense. Well, according to my research and speculation, we'll have to go up just about 40 blocks and make sure we don't catch on fire. Um, to help with that, I'm gonna bring these ladders. Hopefully they'll block any oncoming lava. And if that fails, then oh well. And we made it to the bedrock roof. Before I do that, I need to catch one more piece of obsidian. You just need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, good. Good thing I counted. Finally. Now all I have to do is sit my ladders like this, grab myself uh, this and the pearl, and hopefully this will work. This is my first time doing it. I like just watched a video on it. Just because I teach does not mean I don't know much. Anyways. Three, two, one. Yes! But yes, I'm at the top of the nether. That means I can create some interesting farms. In that case, I can get myself an infinite gold farm and then start trading those with piglins. Some people may call it, you know, slavery, but I call it marketing. I have a feeling that this probably leads home, call it a hunch. So that just about wraps up the nether adventure. Next episode, I think I'm gonna go get Hilltop Village back. Apparently I've killed a pillager, I got cursed, and then a bunch of villagers accidentally raided Hilltop Village while I was getting cows for my um, slavery machine. I mean, cow farm. And I have to say, none of this is my fault, okay? It's not my fault that they're storming in villagers' houses right now. Mm -hmm. But I do wanna help. See how this goes. Crossbows are pretty cool, aren't they? And I'm in the village, in the middle of the raid. Yeah, let me say that for your next episode. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I, I did that. Uh, I'll, I'll be back to Hilltop Village. Goodbye.